Okay, so that was the uh, T-shift processing block. Uh, now, moving on, uh, we finished uh, 3D T-shift, and now we have some processing blocks coming up. The align block, the, uh, where we align the anatomy in the EPI. The TLRC block, where we go to standard space. TLRC is kind of short for Taylorx, but uh, this, this applies to any space that we may go to, even a template that uh, is only local to this current group of subjects. And then we have a Valrig block where we uh, put everything together and align the EPI um, with everything. So this, so this T-shift block is the last processing block before we begin all the registration steps. So now we extract our registration base. So we're not going to modify the EPI data anymore before performing registration. So let's extract the uh, min outlier volume. If you recall from the uh, from the uh, S05 AB AP Uber script, um, our AFNI proc command, we requested to align the EPI data to the min outlier, and we've we've looked at uh, uh, what the min outlier, uh, how that's computed. Uh, we know we know the run and the TR uh, within the run. And again, just to remind you, just to see another command, I'm going to actually grep for this string. I'll put it in quotes because there are spaces in it. I'll grep for that string in the output .proc.ft text file. Remember, output .proc.ft is just the all the text that came onto our screen when the proc script was run. And we see it again it was run 3 time point 24 so now let's see exactly what uh, what volume is created here so we run 3d bucket and we give the name of the output to be VR base min outlier and the input is processing block 1 T shift but it's run 3 in our case R03 since run is 3 and the min out TR index is 24. That's zero based, zero through 24. So that'll be the fifth, 25th uh, volume within uh, run three. And just to see uh, what are the outliers uh, in run three, the outliers are out count at R03. So if we if we display the top, say 26 of them head minus 26 lines from this outlier file. So that's index 0 through index 25. And we want index 24. You see that that's a very small number. So the minimum outlier in run 3, uh, well, that's across all runs, is, is 0 0.00008. So that's 0.008% uh, of the uh, brain is considered an, out an outlier there. So that should be a good low motion volume. And if you wanted to, we could look at it if we cared to. Uh, I guess I'll do that just uh, for completeness. If we set our underlay, so the top controller is TCAT, the bottom is T-shift. So let's use the bottom since that's what we're using, but we'll switch to run three. And we'll go to time point 24. And lo and behold, this is this is our volume. Doesn't look too special, but it shouldn't. It should just be a low motion volume. It shouldn't look bad. It's not going to look particularly better than any other volume, but it just shouldn't have any artifacts in it from motion. So you, there you go. That's where that's what we're going to extract. Uh, and we'll call that VR base min outlier. And actually, if we look at that, um, if I run, look at that output text file, just via less, and I'll search for, you type a slash, this slash to search and less, but you don't have to do that. Uh, min 
outlier. Where's 3D bucket? Right here. So here's the 3D bucket command right here. Now get rid of all this text. So here's the 3D bucket command that is actually run. Note that we had quotes in our script, but the quotes are stripped off when the shell echoes the command because the shell sees the quotes and removes them, but it doesn't remove this stuff because we use the quotes to hide that from the shell. So this is this is the uh, 3D bucket command that's actually run. This command is evaluated as this, and that's what's run. So that's our min outlier volume processing block one, run three, um, T shift index uh, number 24. Again, that's a zero based index. So now that we've uh, extracted our uh, registration based volume, it's convenient to have it as its, as its own data set. We don't have to do this, but it's nice to have it separate so that we can access it trivially. And I should also note that we could run 3D info on, uh, on this VR base min outlier right here. And the last command in the history, the last command that was run is right here. Again, the same command just to see it. So now that we have our min outlier volume, we can start with the alignment step. So the first alignment step is in the align block, we figure out the uh, alignment between the anatomy and the EPI. And, and we actually, uh, the anatomy that's input is the original FT anat plus a ridge. In this simple example, it wasn't already skull stripped. If we had run SS warper on it, that would be a skull stripped anatomy. In our case, we didn't, uh, because we're just being quick here. Um, so three, so a line API in at will run a bunch of commands, and one of them will be to perform skull stripping on this, and we're going to save that output for later on. The suffix for the output. Uh, is al junk so it's aligned and it's called junk because we don't actually care about the anatomy aligned to the epi so much because we're going to do more transformations and in our apneprac command itself we actually requested to align the uh, epi to the anatomy so we'll take the output uh, transformation and invert it so let's uh, let's not look at anything now. Let's just say, okay, now we know how to align the anatomy and EPI. We'll evaluate the quality of that alignment later. Next step is the standard space, TLRC block. Again, in this simple case, we, we're not using nonlinear registration, which we would normally prefer to do before AFNIPROC, before running AFNIPROC. In this case, we're just doing a simple affine registration with auto tailorack. So we're aligning to the uh, Taylor Act template. Again, you could use whatever template here, but uh, we're just aligning to the Taylor Act template. There are some atlases that are fine for that space, but again, that, that choice is up to you. The input is the skull stripped anatomy, and so we tell it not to do additional skull stripping. And uh, then at the moment, let's just say that's done. That's a simple operation. It's just an affine registration to the template, we'll check on it. But after it's done, we uh, grab, again, we grab the transformation matrix and store it in a text file. So now we have warp in that, uh, we have the X auto tailor act at 1D. So if we look at the, we look at the files sorted by time, we can see, for example, Oops, that's the valve rate. So now we see all this, all this stuff. So uh, here's here's that file created. So you see, we've run a line API in that at this point in time. Here's our min outlier, and then we start uh, a line API, and that actually creates a bunch of data sets. Here's the min outlier. Um, that th this unflipped is due to a flip check option where we're testing to make sure left and right seem consistent between the NAT and EPI, but that we'll mention again later. It removes the skull. Um, 
there, but the thing we, the bits that we really care about are actually the transformations themselves. So these are transformation matrices, and then we'll apply them later on in the proc script. And again, this is the transformation, uh, no, this is the transformation matrix produced by Otto Taylorac. And if we even look at that file, it's just a, a three by four matrix. The bottom row to make it complete four by th four is just zero 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 one. We don't we don't usually bother to uh, include that. And uh, and now we know how to get to standard space. So let's actually consider uh, continue on and look at the Valreg block and th in the Valreg processing block. That's where we will put everything together. So I would just. Uh, break this here and just to keep things in pieces and uh, we'll start the Valreg block soon.